Hey FlossTube, Liz from Hello from Liz Matthews here. Happy last day of 2019. I cannot freaking believe it. More than that, it's the last day of the decade, which just blows my mind. No matter how dramatic about it you wanna be, I can't help but feel a little reflective and grateful and fortunate about all of the things that have happened over this last year. I'm sure we'll get into that in a little bit, but wow. I hope you guys are safe this evening if you happen to be watching this video today. Or if you're tuning in in a couple days, I hope the year is off to a fabulous start for you. I still, I just can't believe the year is wrapping up. 2020, hello 2020, it's gonna be a good one, I think. So I have been swamped, as you have too, I'm sure, just with the Christmas holiday and, well, I celebrate Christmas, but the holidays and all of the things that have been going on in this year just has, I don't know, it always wraps up in a bit of a frenzy. So I haven't been around too much. I haven't been doing YouTube, uh, FlossTube as I would like to be, but I'll be back with a regular schedule and I'll be posting more on Instagram as things start to settle down. But I have, I have been watching a lot of FlossTube, taking notes and making some good plans. FlossTube has been really, really good lately, if you ask me, because I'm a bit of a planner. I like plans, I like, projections, I like resolutions, all of those things for the new year. And you guys have been doing the best floss tube videos. I love hearing about your plans for stitching in the new year. I'm a monogamous stitcher, so I don't get to enjoy all of the like, Monday is this, Tuesday is this, Wednesday, witchy Wednesday, free Thursday, Fabulous Friday. I don't know what they all are, but I love all of your plans and I have loved seeing everybody pull out their work in progress bins and see how far that you guys have gotten and what you've kitted up. I just, I love it. I don't know why. It just, maybe because I don't do it myself or because I'm a planner, whatever the reason. FlossTube has been so, so good and I've been enjoying your videos so much. I also wanted to thank everybody who participated in my holiday hashtag, which I think was sadly maybe three weeks ago to a month ago now. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe how fast time is going. I'm gonna put a link below to everybody, everybody's video who participated in the Hello Holiday Needlework tag. It's not too late. If you wanna do it, you can still participate, but a big thank you to anybody who decided to play along. And I will again, link their videos in the description box below if you wanna go see some fun answers to some, some fun questions. Um, what else has been going on on FlossTube? There was a, a bunch of things I wanted to touch on in the FlossTube world. So one of the things is I met LaDonna of Samplings of Memories at the Loudon Sampler Guild um, holiday get together that mom and I attended a while ago. I think I was probably telling you about it in my last video. I've since been, um, and meeting LaDonna was one of the highlights of the trip. It was in Loudoun County, Virginia, which is about an hour and a half from me, and their guild is something else down there. It is big, it's big, and everybody's really passionate about samplers, and it was their holiday get together, so it was a catered meal, and then shopping from vendors who are local, and I was one of those vendors. But what I found since coming home is LaDonna did a floss tube video because she does have a channel. She also makes the most beautiful stitching accessories. You might want to check her out. I follow her on Instagram, met her IRL, and now follow her floss tube channel as well. I'll link her below. But her latest floss tube video was all about guilds, sampler and needlework guilds. And I just found it to be so inspiring and informative. And truly, it made me want to join the Loudon Sampler Guild. Now that's a bit far for me, but I think I'm still gonna look into it because to be with all of those people who share your passion and she explained what all the benefits of being in a guild are, it's, it's really something. So I'm gonna look into that, but you might wanna check out the video because guilds are everywhere. Deb and Liz did a, a segment of their videos for a while, kind of, highlighting uh, national guilds all across the country. So I know they exist everywhere. That's Liz and Deb of Country Stitchers. I'll link them as well. Um, so I know guilds are a thing. And I think uh, as people have been wanting and seeking community, this is a great way to get that. And I have to admit that guilds do sound a little intimidating, 
but everybody was just so welcoming and LaDonna's video explained it perfectly. Guilds are women coming together because they do have something in common and a similar passion. So why not seek that out and maybe join? So all of that to say, that is a fabulous video that I would love it if you went to watch. Linked below, LaDonna of Samplings of Memory. I also learned that she is putting on a retreat, I believe in April, that Priscilla and Chelsea are going to be at. So I want to look into that too. In this new year, I really want to attend more functions, kind of venture out, be part of the community. When I did that stitch in at Stitches Unlimited, in early December. I just loved it so much. I loved meeting everybody and it's honestly a little bit uncomfortable for me because I'm not, I, I'm, I'm shy. I'll just say I'm shy. I'm an introverted shy person. So it's a little bit uncomfortable for me, but to put yourself out there and connect with people is just so wonderful. So that's a goal for 2020. It's a goal of mine to explore my community and become part of it. Now, that leads me to my local, uh, my LNS is the Stitching Post and I just saw that they are having a stitching night on January 18th and I think I'm going to sign up for it. I am definitely a little bit nervous because I won't know anybody there. I know that Danielle from Stitcherista, that is her LNS too and she said in one of her latest videos that she was going to attend. And I have to admit that I'm a little nervous walking in, knowing nobody, being the newbie, I assume, but I'm going to do it. So I encourage you guys to do that too. If you're interested in making new friends, seeking out the community near you, let's do it together. Let's be brave together. I think it will be fabulous. So I will check back in after the 18th, but I know that many, many people have commented that they are local citrus as well. So maybe I can encourage you to join me as well. If you haven't already been to one of the stitching posts, stitch in, Let's do this together. Let's meet there. Let's just have a good night. So January 18th is on my calendar. I have to call and sign up. I believe it's $10 to sign up. So that's on my list of things to do. Um, some other really awesome things that I've seen around Floss Tube community is Nick Stitches. Everybody has been loving her and following her. She is the creator of Finally Freaking Over. Amen to that. I totally get it. Um, but she is participating in a New Year sal, which I have been loving seeing all of these sals starting. So exciting, and I so wish I could participate, but all of my stitching focus is on new designs. Um, but she is doing the suffragette sal. There is a hashtag, I don't know what it is, but uh, Michelle Bendy stitches, stitching with the sisterlies, it's, uh, two martini stitcher, three martini stitcher. Um, is they are hosting this style and Nick is participating. But what I loved about Nick Stitch's video is that she was telling everybody how it doesn't have to break the budget to be part of a style and she broke everything down. She got all of her supplies for this stitch along and I really really loved that because I'm finding more and more that prices for things needlework related can jump up really quick. I so wish I had never discovered needlepoint silk. It's amazing. I thoroughly enjoy stitching with it, but it is damn expensive and I don't know if I can always do it. Uh, Mom does have a supply from all of her designs that I have been rating, but all of this to say, Supplies can add up really quickly, but uh, what I loved about Nick's video is that she was showing how it can be done really affordably and how you can join all of these styles and be part of the community on a budget. So I just wanted to shout her out for that video. It's also on her Instagram, The Price Breakdown. I just thought that was really, really awesome and I wanted to make note of that. Also, I have been loving Rocio's. I'm, I'm so sorry. I know I'm not saying that correctly. Coco Hamas. Coco Hamas's channel. She is based out of the Bahamas, but her parents live in Texas. And I've really been enjoying her videos, particularly since I know that she is going to be doing a massive haul soon. I love haul videos. And I know that she has a collection of items that she is bringing back to the Bahamas with her that had been stashed at her parents' house. And I am anxiously awaiting a haul video. 
I myself have a bit of a haul video for you today since we're just getting through Christmas. Um, I did get some stitchy things that I thought I would share with you because as I said, I love haul videos. So Christmas was wonderful. It was hectic, but wonderful. And I really got to spend good quality time with my friends and family. Um, it's always a little bit, I, I, it's hectic. It's the holidays, what can I say? But I dialed everything back a bit this year, I think because I've been so distracted with the business that everything was just a little bit less for Christmas. I did fewer presents, I did fewer decorating, I didn't stress about Christmas brunch, which we hosted here. Everything was just dialed back and it was so wonderful and it really allowed me to enjoy the holiday with everybody and I even got comments from mom and Joe saying that I seemed so much more calm this year and they were happy to see it. So. I will definitely be doing that again, just reprioritizing and focusing on what's really important through the holidays really, really helped me and I just enjoyed it so much more. So I thought, not because of that, but since we're talking Christmas, I thought I would share some of the things I was gifted this Christmas. Um, everybody was very, very, very generous. and. I want to share these with you because I know that you guys are fiber lovers like I am and you might like to see them, but in no way am I meaning to brag or show things off. I just wanted to say that. I did receive the ball tip needles that I said I wanted. I think it was one of the answers to my tag video questions. I received the ball tip needles, Sullivan's, Easy Glide, ball, where do you go? Ball tip needles. And I really, really like them. The only thing that I am not enjoying is that because there is a ball tip, it's a little bit hard to slide the needle on the back of my piece when I'm trying to just finish uh, my strands of thread and cut. It's a little bit hard to slip that ball under your stitches from the back. The backs of my pieces, one day I will show you guys they are laughable. My mom has always laughed at me. I think there's probably more thread on the back of my pieces than the front, but I am getting better and it's my thing. What can I say? But I did receive the ball tip needles. Really, really like them. I have been doing, there, 28, size 28. It works really well for what I stitch. Really liked them. They're pricey though. They're $8 for two. So I'm going to treat them like little sticks of gold got that. Mom also got me a few businessy type things. She got me glazing points because I do all of my own framing. Mom taught me how to do that and there's a lot of framing in my future so I got a pack of glazing points. I also got some sort quick fingertip moisteners. That's a weird word to say but it's just um, you take the lid off and you run your fingers on this like jelly stuff and when you're stuffing charts and doing like page one page two page three it makes life a little easier so this is actually a really fun gift to get she got me a notebook because i am a note keeper a, pl a planner like i said so i'm going to use this in the new year for all of my business notes my floss tube notes all of those things i just thought this was so lovely with some gold accents on there then um Anne of The Good Housewife, who is my mom's best friend, also spent Christmas morning with us, so she brought me a few goodies. She actually got me a lovely stack of linen, which is just like, oh my gosh, I just want to like roll in it and lay it all out and just love it because it is such a treat. She got me 36 count tin roof from Weeks Eye Works, and I'm sorry, that I don't think the color is going to show up really well. I feel like it's reflecting off of the red of my sweater. But, oh, this is just so luscious. This is one of those colors I saw and thought, oh, I want to get that in the future. So that's Tin Roof from Weeks. I also got some Picture This Plus. This is 40 count. I have never stitched on 40 count. I feel like it's in my future. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm a little intimidated by it. So this is 40 count shadow from Picture This Plus. I just love their modeling and the way their pieces look. Um, there's a name for how big this is and I really need to learn it. I think it's a, 
I don't think this is a fat quarter. I think this is more than a fat quarter. But if anybody wants to tell me, I'm doing a giveaway in this video. Maybe you guys can explain to me what all of like fat quarter, fat half, fat yard means. This is, um, this is this size and it's just gorgeous. I have to design the perfect thing to go on there. And then when I'm feeling brave with my ball tip needle, I will dive into this 40 count linen. Let's see, I'm gonna carefully fold all of that up as soon as I'm done. I also got some Havana, which I believe is also Weeks Dye Works. Again, really beautiful, like thick and soft feel. I love it. See, this size is the same. <laughs> This size is the same. Is this a fat half? Is this a fat quarter? Don't know, but I know you guys will help me out. Then I got two pieces from R&R, &R, which just, even seeing the name R&R &R just brings back so many good memories. I know Ann and Pat from when I was little, meaning like 13, 14. I know them from doing the needlework shows with my mom when my mom she still is a designer, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. And they were just so lovely and had just like a, I don't know, I hear their names or see their business card or hear their business name and it just makes me feel good. So the fact that I got two R&R &R pieces of linen really makes me happy. It just brings back so many good memories, not only of being a little girl and watching my mom stitch, but also attending market and just knowing Ann and Pat. So. Ann got me Cafe Kona and Weathered, I don't know, I'm going to have to investigate this. Skies? No, it can't be Skies. It's kind of this, um, like, gray color. I'll have to investigate what that name is. She probably knows Weathered Something and Cafe Kona. So yay, two R&R &R pieces. And then lastly, she got me some 32 count vintage smoky white from Picture This Plus. Definitely not showing up, that's better. I think with that light, it's too hard when it's just a single piece of linen. So this is doubled over. Look at that modeling, it's just lovely. Um, I was actually doing some research about R&R &R today because I wanted to see if I could order more product from them which led me to the website for their shop, which is in Virginia Beach, which is not that far from me. I feel like I have some road trips in my future, like dying to stitch, salty yarns. I can go back to Stitches Unlimited in Pennsylvania. I wanna do some traveling when the weather turns nicer to visit all of these amazing shops and dying to stitch is definitely on that list. So that's my linen stash. That is quite a stash and I can't wait to use them to find the perfect projects for them. There was one piece, like, what's this size? I don't know. Maybe it's just in inches. I have no idea. But maybe you guys can help me out and tell me what all of those measurements are. So that was my linen stash from Anne, which is just so generous. And then I have two more antique pieces of needlework to share with you. Both are from my mom. One I knew about because I picked it out in the store and one was a complete, complete surprise. So this is the piece that I saw in the store and fell in love with. I have plans on reproducing it. So I'm always a little like, should I show details of this? Cause I'm going to reproduce it. I don't want anybody to, <laughs> this is just my paranoid brain if I'm being honest. Probably nobody would ever beat me to reproducing this, but in the back of my head, I'm like, ooh, ooh, do I wanna show all the details? So just know this is owned by me. It will be reproduced by me. If you see it anywhere else, it's wrong. Anyway, here it is. It is um, a palette of pinks and pastels. But what I really, really love about this piece, let me see if I can get it nice and clear for you is all of the metallic thread in the leaves and the vase base. So cool. I just love it so much. And the tag in the store, we got this for a steal, said this was an unfinished piece. And I guess it's because the top is all undone, which is totally fine by me. It was just folded up like in a stack of um, homespun linen and just the littlest bit was peeking out and I was like, mom, mom, 
we have to we have to look at that did that price say what i think it says and it did and this came home with me and i got it for christmas so talking about backs my back does not look like this these backs are just gorgeous you almost could make the front the back i mean you can't you see what is the front and the back but damn they did a beautiful job so pretty so that was one of my antique sampler needlework pieces for the year and then i did share this on social media but here it is oh no let me get you non-glary uh this amazing sampler that my mom got me it is just so beautiful the details of it are beautiful this is definitely going to be reproduced and available at Nashville. I love everything about this, the tones, the frame, the subject matter. It's really, really lovely. And this is my very, very first antique sampler. And I couldn't be more happy or thrilled. I will definitely be sharing oops, more pictures of this in the future, close up details. Um, but mom and I started having a discussion about how I wanted to reproduce it in that she was saying some people will take the sampler off of its matting out of its frame and flip it over so that you can see the true colors that the piece was originally stitched with and they'll reproduce it using those colors i however prefer the muted tone so i think i will be reproducing it based on what you see here and if i can avoid taking it out of this beautiful frame then i will i'll do what i need to do but i just love love this so much it was a complete shock it was a complete shock i had no idea that i would ever ever own one of these but i do and i love it and it's hanging on my wall i did give my office space a complete refreshes the wrong word clean up and organization and just got rid of all the crap that didn't need to be in here so that my workflow is a little bit better and this was the very first thing I hung up kind of front and center so I can look at it and be inspired and oh my gosh oh my gosh this is like opening a can of worms I feel like this is totally slippery slope but I did receive this and I love it so much and I was excited to share that with you guys so that's my Christmas haul there a couple other things I just wanted to mention to you let me grab my rough notes um remember this piece i said i might make it available for the january 6th launch if you guys liked it well you guys liked it and you didn't mind the colors they're not my colors anymore um, and i thought about restitching it with new colors but you guys seem to like it and one thing i have learned from floss tube and everything that i've seen is you guys aren't afraid to change colors or switch things up so Feel free to do that with anything I've ever designed or ever designed for you. Um, but anyway, I took it out of the frame because I was like, okay, I'll do it. I took it out of the frame, which I told you had some damage and hadn't been stored very well, which is totally fine. Um, but if you see, there's a lot of rust and I think this might even be like some mold. Ooh, it's not good. So I'm gonna try to hand wash it. I am definitely nervous about it. I believe, I think, I think, I think this is probably needlepoint silk because I would have used from my mom's stash way back when. No idea what this linen is, but I'm gonna try to figure it out. I'm gonna wash it. I have a bottle of wool light. <laughs> is that okay? It's the most delicate thing I have. I will wash it by hand. Be very gentle. I believe needlepoint silk is color fast. Dry it and see what I can do. There is the slightest chance that this will also be available for the January 6th launch. No promises. I have been really focusing on all of the other pieces that I knew were gonna be part of the launch, but this might be a surprise bonus if everything aligns and comes together as I'd like. So <laughs> we'll see. But um, wish me luck in laundering this or tell me like, absolutely not, do not do that. That would be wrong. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I do really like this pattern. Worst comes to worst, I guess I would just restitch it with the colors I prefer now. 
and we will go from there. The design still exists. I still have it, so we'll see. So that's that. Um, we went over all of the things I think I wanted to touch on. I do want to give do a giveaway for this video. Of course, I don't have the chart in front of me. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, excuse me. I wanted to do a giveaway with this video because it has been a while and I am just so grateful for this community. You guys have really made my year, to be honest. You've made my year. Things have been, I don't know. I was kind of at a, a crossroad and finding cross stitch and punch needle and floss tube and you guys in the community again really, really made my year. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. This is really wonderful. I love the path that I'm on so much and I'm so grateful for you and every comment, every heart, every connection, absolutely everything. You made my year really great. So the least I can do <laughs> is a giveaway in this video. This is gonna be Margaret Pence 1781. This is a good housewife chart. So it was previously discontinued and they have re-released it. This is um, 146 by 123 in stitches, 146 wide, 123 high, and was put out in 2010 discontinued and now available again. So I will send this to a commenter. Comment anything you'd like. Really, I'm happy to talk to you about anything. I'm happy to hear anything. So any comment will be an entry, we'll say that. And then, not in my next video, but in my next one, I will select a winner. So the reason I say that, so let me just give you a close up of this before we move on beautiful Adam and Eve sampler. This is one of the Good Housewives most popular, so that's why they brought this back. So that will go to a winner in two videos. The reason I say two videos is because the launch is happening. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. January 6th seemed so far away. It's like, I've got plenty of time. I've got plenty of time. And then laying in bed last night, Joe was, we were talking dates, and I was looking at my phone, and I was like, <laughs> okay January 6th it's right around the corner it is such a good and exciting thing but it just has been this far off dream come true that it's actually crept up on me so quickly January 6th is Monday so on Monday I will have the launch of my first cross stitch patterns in 20 years so Yay! There'll be lots of good things coming, lots of announcements, lots of specials for you. And I'm going to save them and share all of those with you on the January 6th video. So on January 6th, when I wake up at 6.30 in the morning, I am going to upload a video showing you all of my new designs, telling you where and how to get them, and giving you a detailed look at each of them. So you can decide if maybe you would like to stitch those in the new year. That will go up January 6th, as well as all of the items in my shop for you to buy. Hopefully, they'll also start trickling into your LNSs where you can go support your local shops and get Hello from Liz Matthews charts there as well. That's the hope, that's the dream, that's the plan. That's what I'll be doing on my end to make all of that stuff happen. And I look forward to posting and sharing that video with you. I did something really weird, not thinking. <laughs> I made myself a dentist and a doctor's appointment for January 6th as well. So it's gonna be a very like emotional day because I, I, I don't like the dentist and I don't like the doctor. I really don't like the dentist. So it's gonna be some highs and some lows and I just really look forward to celebrating and spending those highs with you. So that will all be Monday. I will be on social media as long as I'm not getting poked, prodded. Ugh. Um, I know I'm due for like tetanus and some shots and let's not even talk about it. Let's talk about the good aspects of January 6th. So that will go up in the morning. Everything will be loaded in my shop in the morning. I'll be doing Instagram posts 
and it's just gonna be a really really good day so as far as my plans for the new year because i have loved hearing so much about everybody else's plans that's the january 6th plan then i sit tight head down work hard until market where i am planning on releasing 10 brand new original designs so i am stitching my fingers to the bone getting ready for that again i kind of am like oh market march march 6th not that far is not that far so i have to stay aware of these timelines i need a big calendar <laughs> i've got a little flip calendar but i think i need a big calendar because that's gonna be here before you know it but they are all such good things and i just can't wait to go through all of them and share the journey with you so i think that wraps it up for today's video i don't think there's anything else I really wanted to share. I'm really excited to see all of these sales start happening. Um, and I'm really excited to see people start working and finishing Ann Thomas. I believe, oh, I'm, I hope I don't get this wrong. It's the bird sampler from Hands Across the Sea. I hope that's not wrong. Hands Across the Sea designs I absolutely love that bird sampler. I can't wait to see people finishing it. Um, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World started it and showed us a little glimpse of it. Oh, oh man, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And then I saw that Beth Twist also found a bird um, antique uh, needlework piece, an antique bird needlework piece at her local antique shop and she said that that might be available in the future and i'm really excited to see that too those are two things i'm really looking forward to in the new year i will definitely not be awake at midnight tonight that never happens i think that hasn't happened since joe and i were dating nine years ago i get pretty tired so i will definitely be asleep when the clock strikes midnight on the east coast but i hope you guys have a really good safe happy healthy new year and i so appreciate getting to know you that you spend time with me here on floss tube i'll be back on monday and i can't wait to spend the new year with you